Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP Elite Book Folio 9480M model. And in this video I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can open it up and how you can remove or upgrade the RAM on your laptop. And people always ask me what's the maximum RAM capacity that you can have in this one. We have upgraded up to 16 gig with no issue. But if you want to know your maximum RAM capacity for your laptops or for your PCs, I made a really short video that you can just, without installing any programs, you can check how you can have the maximum RAM capacity, how you can check your maximum RAM capacity. I'll leave that link in the video description in case you guys want to check it out and see what's the RAM capacity that you can have in here. But in this video, I'm just going to take you on a step by step how to open it up correctly and how you can replace or remove it. And you want to power off the laptop, you want to flip it upside down. And first thing first, you need a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And from this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number zero. All right. And first, we're going to remove the battery by pulling this trigger to the left. Slide the battery towards yourself as much as you can. And then once you see the gap, grab it from the front end, pull it up, pull it to one side. Next, we need to remove this and this is screw. This is screws, they have a seal lock, so pretty much you just have to rotate. They should not come up, but sometimes the seal lock really breaks down and it comes up with a spring. You don't need this spring, you can just throw the spring out or you just push it back in. So I'm glad that this happened because the laptops are old. So I'm going to leave this spring to one side for now. I'm going to show you guys how to put it back together. Let's go ahead and rotate this one. Okay, the spring just came out. It stays, so pretty much I'm losing it. I'm going to pull this cover to the left side, and then I'm going to lift it up. So there's the little spring right there, and you just need to rotate. You're going to put it back together. To put it back together, you want to put the cone side of the spring down on the big side and the short side on top. And you want to push through here, and you want to screw it a little bit inward. And that's it. And now you see, it just pretty much it stays right there. That's what you want to get. This one too, let's just screw it until it goes in and there. That's what you want. All right. Once we remove this one, these two on top, now we need to remove this power on the top side here. We need to loosen up this screw right over here. So loosen up this screw. Loosen up the screw next to it, these two, and then you want to jump, you don't want to touch this one, you want to jump all the way to the middle, get that one loosened up, get the one by the BIOS, this is the BIOS chip, loosen up this one, and loosen up the one beside it on the case. Once you have all this loosened up, you want to grab it from the front end here, you want to open it like you're opening a book, just like that, and put it to one side. And the RAM is really noticeable right in front of you. There's a two RAM DIMM available in here. These are DDR3 RAM. To remove the RAM, to remove the RAM is really simple. All you need to do is to grab these two triggers right in here and pull them away from each other. And the RAM will pop open in 45 degree angle. And you want to grab it in the same 45 degree angle. You want to pull it out back in the same 45 degree angle. Now you can grab a new RAM in here, you can put an 8 gig and 8 gig, this is a 4 gig. There you go, you can see the specification right on top. And I'll leave the link for a compatible RAMs for this one. Once you have the RAM, make sure you get a 4 gig DDR3L, those are L for low voltage. Those are really compatible with many motherboards. Make sure the notch on the, on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM right here. So if I try to put it the other way around, it will not go through. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle, all the way to the notch, right to the dim. You want to push it towards the dim, I'm not pushing towards the motherboard, towards the dim, and then push it towards the motherboard, and you want to hear soft clicking right there. So the jacks open, and automatically they will just close. So if you have another one, I don't have any DDR3 on hand, let me check. I probably do. I don't. So this is a DDR4. DDR4, they have a notch really away from each other and they're a little big, they will not go through. So there's another DDR3. So make sure the notch matches all the way to the dim and towards the motherboard. 
and that's all. You can have a very uh, different uh, DIMMs with a different uh, memory block, so don't worry, they can still be compatible. So yeah, so this is what demonstration, I'm not putting any. So just remember, once you put a new DIMM in here and you power on, wait five to 10 seconds before you get any boot menu. But if after five, 10 seconds, you don't get anything on the screen, power off, remove both of the RAMs, put the new RAM in here, then you wanna power on, once you get its logo for the HP logo, if you want to power it off suddenly, and then place the second dim, the old one in here beside it, and then power on, wait five, 10 seconds, and it will work. All right, once you have the RAM upgraded, next what you want to do, you want to put the cow bottom cover, the hinge side down in there, make sure it goes down, and bring it down, and you want to tighten up the screws right on top. Just tighten them up, and that should be all. So put this one on top and grab the side cover, put it in an offset position, slide it towards inside of the laptop and screw down the screws right here. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.